Yes, I am ready for you guys. <laughs> All right, let's start with Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Tyreek, it seems like whenever anything big happens in the NFL, like one of these popular plays, for example, DK Metcalf the other night with the speed, it's always, well, what does Tyreek think? We got to set up a race with Tyreek. What do you make of the idea that whenever there's some kind of speed play, you're the first person that NFL Twitter and such thinks about? I'm the cheetah, baby. What you mean? <laughs> of course they're going to go, hey, of course they're going to come to the head, dog. I'm the cheetah, baby. But um, back to the DK Metcalf play, that was – um. That was a real nice play, but um, unfortunately for me, I would never be able to like showcase that because Patrick, he never throws interceptions. So there you have it. Uh, we'll go to Sam McDowell next. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Tyreek. Um, we, we've asked Patrick a lot about the way defenses are playing you guys and how he's had to change just his mental approach to that. Right. But with you personally, how have you just had to adjust and maybe accept the fact that some of the plays that were there the past couple of years just, just aren't open this year? You know what? Um, football is a game of chess. You know what? So I feel like if we continue doing what we're doing, which is nickel and diamond all the way down the field, you know, teams will begin to, you know what, um, come up, play more man. And um, it just takes time. You know, we just got to be patient. You know, I mean, everyone knows us for like the big play, you know, and I want to make the big play. Pat wants to make the big play. You know, everyone wants the big play, but we just got to play chess, you know, um, our run game is looking amazing, you know, so that could help. So I'm looking forward, forward to it. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Tyreek. I want to build off of Sam's question. Um, because teams have played so back to try to eliminate the deep pass. Right. What would, what would be your argument to say that this is still your best season comparable to what you've done the previous four years? Uh. I don't, I don't know. I just feel like um, I'm more mature on the field now, you know, where, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm complete, but I mean, the game has slowed down tremendously for me, you know? So um, when I first came into the league, I was just happy to be in the league. I mean, you guys know this, you know, so I wanted to make the big play, but now it's, it's, it's about running the slants, running the hitches, you know, running a ZN, coming back to the ball, catching it with my hands and getting upfield. So, I'm, I feel like I'm more mature in my game. So, go next up, Matt Derrick. Hey, Ty, good to see you. Hey, uh, good to see you, buddy. Hey, I'm curious about when you're watching film and you're watching uh -huh. the guys that line up against you, what is it you're looking for? What is it that, that you see and you can take uh -huh. that helps you in the game? So, I got a follow up, Brad. So, um, when I'm watching film against opposing corners, I look for what hand. Um, well, what hands do they jam with? You know, do they jam? Do they mirror? Um, do they break on balls well? You know, um, do they tackle well? I mean, things like that, you know, because um, most teams, they don't they don't press us. So, I mean, right now I'm just looking at, you know, let's say the Jets, they run like a lot of cover too. So is this corner going to um, push me outside? Is he going to um, feather me inside? You know, so just things like that. And for the safeties, like I like I try to look at like is the safeties physical? Um, do they want to tackle? Do can they cover? You know, just things along that. You know, like we've got three left. We'll go right down the line. Todd, Sarin, and Darren. Go ahead, Todd. I got a couple things here. First, Tyreek, at the Lee Summit North, you had been volunteering with. They had to shut the, the football season down. When's yep. the last time you're around those kids? It, it was that mostly a summer thing, or just were you? I know you guys get tested every day, but there were some right. folks who were a little bit scared since they had to shut it down. You might have been near some of those guys. And I have a follow up, Brad. Oh right, so um, I so believe this or not, I was going during the summer. Um, I went to a few games this year, you know, but I haven't been to the last two games. You know what? Um, but. I still talk to the guys, you know, I still watch the film and I still FaceTime them and we still do our little group meeting thing, you know? So I'm still in contact with the guys. I mean, I'm kind of sad that, you know, the season ended the way that it ended, but, you know, I, um, but um, I was talking to uh, a corner last night. I was like, look, man, at least you got to play football. I mean, I feel like some schools aren't even playing football. So just be thankful you got a chance to play ball, so. And follow up just on you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys are playing a team that hadn't won a game yet, right? And everyone thinks right. they're going to win by a bunch. What right. danger is there of overlooking these guys? 
I mean, I feel like the Jets are a good team, you know, and a lot of people, like a lot of people, like they just look at records and say, oh, they're what, 0-7 and, and say, oh, they're a bad team. But if you look at this team closely, like they got some pretty good players. They got a real good coach um, on both sides, special teams. And we just looking forward to the challenge. Like each and every week, you know, we don't look at records. We just go out game plan and we do what we do as a Chiefs team, you know, like we feel like everybody is the same. You know, like every game is our Super Bowl. So that's going to be um, that's going to be our thought. That's going to be our approach. And that's just how we're going to roll it, man. Yeah. Like they're in the NFL for a reason. And Jess is an NFL team for a reason. They, they good. Uh, Matt, I think you had a follow up. I'm sorry. I muted you. Go ahead, Matt. No problem. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, Ty, following up on just watching film, I'm just curious also, how much do you get to watch film with Patrick and, you know, see how he kind of tackles it and what he sees in film? Well, we have those those moments, you know, every day. Well, I wouldn't say every day, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. Um, those are the times that um, offense installs, installs plays. So we, we watch film, you know, and um, we just get together. And um, Pat just tells us what he wants us to do, what he's thinking. And then um, that's when um, we uh, share share our opinions about things. So we have plenty of time to um, do things like that. All right, last two, Serena and Darren. Go ahead, Serena. Uh, Tyreek, uh, you said something interesting there a minute ago. One of the things you said was, uh, you know, when I first got here, I was just happy to be here. You guys know that, right? Like, like we've been through this journey with you, right? And you talked about your – you also mentioned maturing as a player on the field, but – Having watched you, right, uh, during your whole time here in Kansas City, you matured tremendously off the field as well, right? And we, and we right. all know you've been through a lot of different things, right? right. And, and and amazingly had to have it played out on a public scene, which is not right. easy. Right. How much has all of that, everything that you've been through, maybe matured you as a man and as an individual off the field? And is that maybe what drove you and helped the maturity on the football field, that it was you off the field and that maturation process that's that's maybe made you a better football player. Oh, well, I mean, I was just kind of raised different, man. Like my mom says, you know, everything. Well, first of all, mental health is real. I just had a um, so a kid from my hometown. I mean, I, from K-State. I don't know if y'all heard about that. He killed himself. R.I.P. to him, man. So. um, I don't know. I just feel like. My life, man, it's just, it's just, I don't know, everything happens for a reason. And like you said, you know, that, that like helped me, you know, it like fueled me to like get to where I am now. And like, I'm passionate about the things that are around me, which is my kids, my family and football, you know? So I don't know, I'm just excited, you know, just to be able to play football and just take care of my family. And that's it, man. That's, that's all I know. Kids, family, and football. That's my life right there. So I'm sorry that I had to be on a national scale, just the way things are. But Go last to Darren Smith. Go ahead, Darren. Hey, Tyreek, hope all is well with you. His name was Derek Newton. I know you knew him um, from K-State. Obviously, probably won't have a chance to talk to you before Tuesday, but Tuesday being election day, have you voted? And then also, um, you know, have you and Patrick, some of the team, decided what you all are going to do election day if you're going to, you know, maybe provide food to, you know, workers at different poll places or voters while they're still out of line if they're long lines? Have you all thought about what you all are going to do as a team, individuals, or as an organization, what you're going to do on election day? Um, as far as that part, um, I have no idea yet, but I'm sure – you know, being the great players that we got here, the great organization that we got here, there will be a plan for that. And yes, I have voted. You know, I feel like, I mean, everyone should use their, you know, I mean, use their vote, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I feel like it's important. You know, like, I, I mean, I know two years ago, well, the last president election, I didn't take it serious. Like, and a lot of my friends didn't. So I've been like encouraging a lot of people, you know, to like take this thing serious. Like if, if, if we really want change, if we really want to see things done differently, you know, we got to take this this serious. And that's everywhere. So, yeah. Tyreek, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. That is it for today, guys. Uh, I'll be right back.